so welcome to the Blanca Project. So as you can probably see from the title of this video, we are opening our July Ipsy bag. I'm so excited, so excited to open it. I got it in the mail earlier today and I wanted to open it so bad, but I decided to wait so I can show you guys what I got inside. So let's get started with our unbagging. All right, so. Ooh, the back is very pretty. So the card says Summer Lovin' in the front. It looks like this. So it has a bunch of girls and they're floaties and they look way too dressed up to be gardening. My opinion. What do you guys think? And <laughs> um, this back one looks really cute. Um, I kind of wish that they wrote on here like the things that come in your bag. I know each bag is different, but even if they put all the things that come in all the bags, and like the prices, even if it's just the prices of the trial sizes, I think that'd be that'd be pretty good. Or the prices of, you know, the actual sizes. I don't know. I think that would be helpful for me. And the back this month is a canvas back, and it looks like this. It's actually really really cute. Um, so it has like the chevron patterns, and it has all kinds of colors, and it looks very summery. And then the zipper right here is like a turquoise color, so that's really really cute. Um, and it's not too big, it's about the size of my hand, um, but I actually really, really like this bag. I think this is my third Ipsy bag, and I think this is my favorite one so far. So I'm not going to look, just going to pull out. Ooh, ah, dang it, I should have taken this off. Oh, this is kind of cool. The first thing I got is this Jersey Shore Sun. Mangongo? Mangongo? Mangongo. I think that's what it means. Um, Nutrient Dense Anti Aging Lip Conditioner. That's pretty cool. And the flavor is vanilla coconut cream. And this is what it looks like. So let's open this sucker up. Ooh, it definitely smells very coconut ish. And it's not sticky, so that's nice. So it looks like it's just a lip conditioner, kind of like a lip balm. So that's that's nice. I'm not a huge fan of coconut um, scented things, but I do I do like the flavor of vanilla. So maybe I like that. It kind of gives me the smell of that Glade candle or that Glade air freshener thing I told you guys about in one of the things that I did not like a while back. So yeah. All right, so the next thing I am pulling out, let me put this back here. The next thing I am pulling out is this Cool Way Beach Salt Spray. That's pretty cool. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is very, very basic, just a black cap, white label, and then the writing on the side. And it's just a little spray, a spray. Let's see if this smells. Pretty much, actually. I think I still smell the coconut. I don't smell, I don't smell anything. All right, well we'll see. We'll give that definitely give this a try. It does say to shake well, which I didn't do. Um, apply to damp or dry hair. Style with fingers for a beachy wave look, or style with blow dryer diffuser, or or style with blow dryer diffuser to add texture. So I'm definitely gonna give this a try. I usually don't buy products for my hair. Um. Just because I already put so much in my hair with the dye, I usually try not to add more stuff to it, but we'll give this a try. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my god! This is a waterproof bronzer by Tarte. I don't own anything that's from Tarte, and look at this packaging, guys. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. Ooh, look at this bronzer. Very pretty. Should we give it a try? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, did you guys see? I'm drinking from my infuser and I have strawberries and lemon. And it's good. What kind of fruit do you guys like to put in your in your tumbler? So far, I've done strawberries, lemon, and I think that's it. All right, so I got my blush slash bronzer um, brush out. I don't even know where this is from. It's just something I've had for a long time. And then my Dollar Tree mirror. I was actually going to do this video in the bathroom so that you guys could see better and there is mirrors all over. But 
the lighting isn't very well, so I guess you guys wouldn't have been able to see better, huh? <laughs> Alright, so let's try this. So I'm just applying a little bit. Um, here's the bronzer, here's my brush. I'm just going like this really little bit, and I'm just tapping off the excess. It does say it's waterproof, so that's pretty freaking awesome that it's waterproof. Do you guys see a difference? This one has it, this one doesn't. I don't know, I don't see anything. So I'm going to tap a little bit more just so I can put some on my forehead, just to give my forehead some kind of color. Um, let me know if you guys see anything, because I don't think I see anything. But I'll definitely play around with a little bit more. So I put some on this side of my forehead, I didn't put any on this side. I really hope this color isn't too light for me. I kind of think that you have to go really, like you really have to rub in there to get some product and I definitely didn't do that. So I'm rubbing a little bit harder. You guys can see the product here. That's very shiny, isn't it? And let's swatch it right here. Do you see anything? Is it just me? I don't really see anything. So I think I have to rub, rub, rub. So yeah. So I think this is really cute. I don't own anything that's from Tarte. Um, so I think that's pretty awesome. I think it's kind of expensive, not to, to be honest. Um, I got this crown brush um, tweezer, and it's in the color pink. This is what it looks like. I've actually, I've heard things about the crown um, brand, but I've never owned anything from this brand. So, I mean, I'm hoping it's good. And this is just a cute little set of tweezers. These are very, very, very cute. Um, so I'm hoping they work. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four. So the last thing in my bag is actually coming in a bubble wrap. What is it? What is it? I think it's eyeshadow. I got a little eyeshadow palette. The brand is Anika K New York. Never heard of this brand. Uh, the color is... Uh, I don't know what this color is. It just says quad eyeshadow. I have no idea what the colors are. But let's open this sucker up. Took out the little brush. So I really don't use these to be honest with you. And these are the colors it comes with. So this one right here is a yellow. This looks like a greenish turquoise kind of color. This is a brown. And then this right here is kind of like a uh, like a gold rose kind of color. So I'm gonna swatch them for you guys on the palm of my hand. Um, let's take this bronzer off. You know, the other thing about the bronzer, it did say it was waterproof, so I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna do the turquoise and the yellow first. So let's try this here. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. Somebody's gardening outside. Um, can you guys see that? That's kind of cute, huh? I usually really don't wear any of those colors. Thank you. I usually don't wear any of those colors. I might do the yellow because it's not as bright, but the turquoise, I'm not sure that I'll do. Maybe I'll do it, I don't know. And then I'm doing the brown and the rose color right next to it over here. So this is the brown and the turquoise. I mean the brown and the like rose kind of color. Those are very, very cute. I know these swatches are all over the place, aren't they? These are very, very cute. I actually really like those. I'm really into like the light pink tea, um, gold rose kind of color. I've always been into that. Um, I don't think it matches very well with my, my, my skin color, but I think it's very, very pretty. How's it going with that bronzer? Do you guys see something? So I'm looking at, at myself in the viewfinder. I kind of see something, but I'm not entirely sure. I think I still need to play around with it to um, kind of have a review on that. But I definitely like the eyeshadow colors. They're very creamy. They don't seem like there's going to be a lot of fallout. There was a little bit of fallout with the yellow, but besides that, I really like it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with all of my products, except maybe the lip balm. Um, and the only reason for that is because of the vanilla slash coconut scent. I don't know. I like the, the coconut. You can definitely smell You can definitely smell the vanilla. But I'm not so much into those two scents together. So, or at all, to be honest. So we'll see. I mean, I definitely have to try it out and just see how it works for me. But that's pretty much it for my Ipsy bag. It's all empty. Um, 
yeah, I definitely like it. I can't wait to play for the products, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this bag. Uh, if you guys get Ipsy bag, please let me know what you guys got in your bag down below. I would love to hear what you guys received. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely post my um, my name here on the screen somewhere and also down in the descri description box. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!